and welcome to the video tutorial for your new Mitel 8568 digital telephone from Telesolutions. We will be discussing some of the basic features and functionality of your new telephone. To make an internal call to another extension on your system, you can simply dial the extension of the party you are trying to reach. To make an outgoing call, simply press the outgoing key, located here on the intuitive display. You may also find the outgoing key hard-coded to a key on the phone below. You will notice the appearance of call keys on your phone. Call keys differ from line keys in that they do not have a direct relationship with any specific telephone numbers, as was seen on traditional telephone systems. Call keys simply act as an on-deck system, where the first call you receive will appear on call key 1, a secondary call will appear on call key 2, and so on. To receive a ringing inbound call, simply pick up the handset. You can also answer your telephone hands-free by either pressing the blinking call key, again located here, or by pressing the speaker key, located here. To place your caller on hold, press the red hold key, located here. To retrieve your caller from hold, press the blinking call key associated with that call. To transfer your call to another station, you can use the transfer key, located here. You will also, during an active call, see a transfer key show up on the intuitive display. To transfer your call to another station, you can use the transfer key, located here. During an active call, you will also see a transfer show up on your intuitive display. While on the line with your caller, press the transfer key. Your call will be immediately placed on what's called transfer hold, and you will receive internal dial tone in your ear. You can then dial the extension number of the party you would like to transfer the call to. At this point, you have several transfer options. If you immediately hang up, the call will be transferred to the new extension and ring as any incoming call would. You also have the ability to remain on the line until the person you are transferring the call to answers to announce the call. Again, if you hang up, the call will ring at that station like any incoming call. Finally, you have the ability to place the caller on hold at the remote station by simply pressing the red hold key, located here, before hanging up your phone. To retrieve a call ringing or holding at a remote station, you can use the reverse transfer feature. To use this feature, simply press the number 4, plus the extension number that the call is either ringing or being held. You will hear a confirmation tone, and you will be immediately connected to that caller. I'd now like to discuss some of the standard buttons on your telephone and each of their functions. The volume keys, located here, control four different volume levels. If the phone is idle, these buttons control the ringer volume of the telephone. If the speaker is active, they control the speaker volume. If you are using the handset, they control the handset volume. And finally, if you are utilizing an optional headset, they will control that volume as well. The speaker key, as we discussed earlier, is again located here. This button will activate and deactivate your speakerphone. The mute key, located here, will deactivate all microphones on your telephone. The key will illuminate and the screen will read, Microphone Mute On, when it is in use. You will still be able to hear your caller, but they will not be able to hear you. To deactivate the mute function, just press the mute key again. The blue Mitel Super Key, located here, gives you access to several functions on your phone that will not be discussed in this tutorial. You can access your phone's user guide from telesolutions.com for more details regarding this key and its functions. The Feature Key, located here, allows you to access all of your phone's end-user features and functions that are also available in the online user guide. The redial key, located here, will dial the last outside party number you dialed from this phone. Simply press the key to redial without the need to press anything else to reach your party. The message key, located here, is used in conjunction with the voicemail system and is discussed later in this tutorial. The IC or intercom button, located here, is used as an indication only button. It will blink to let you know your intercom is active. It does not, however, need to be pressed to make an internal call. The voicemail key, located here, has two separate functions. It can be used to access another user's voicemail directly by pressing the voicemail key and entering that party's mailbox number. It can also be used to send an outside caller directly to another user's voicemail box. To transfer a caller to voicemail, while on the call, press the voicemail key. Your caller will be placed on transfer hold and the system will prompt you to enter a mailbox number. Enter the user's mailbox number and hang up to deliver that caller directly to voicemail. As an end user, 
you have the ability to turn any of the keys that are not hard-coded feature keys and program them to be one-touch station keys. To program a key to be a one-touch station key, you can follow these steps. While the phone is idle, dial 397 on the keypad. Press the available button you would like to program and enter the extension number you would like that key to become. This key now gives you presence information in that it will illuminate to let you know whether that phone is busy or free. It also allows you to transfer calls to that phone by simply pressing that key with no need to use the transfer key. If this key is pressed while on a call, your caller will be immediately placed on transfer hold and the system will dial this user's extension for you. Upon receiving a voicemail message, the message key, as well as the light bar at the top of the phone, will begin to illuminate. To check your messages, you can either hit the speaker key or pick up the handset and press your blinking message key. You will be prompted to enter your password. Once your password has been entered, you will be prompted with all voicemail options. Thank you for taking the time with us today to learn about the features and functionality of your new Mitel 8568 digital telephone from Telesolutions. For additional information, you can always visit our website at tele-solutions.com. That's T-E-L-E hyphen solutions.com.